Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I explain what leptin is and what does that mean to the body. Now, this is a very common question that I get asked by my patients, by students, by people wondering why they can't lose weight and why are they hungry all the time. In a nutshell, leptin tells the body, hey, I'm full or I'm, I need to be fed. Leptin is produced in the fat cells. It's secreted to the bloodstream and it travels to the brain to tell the brain, hey, I'm hungry or I'm not hungry. Now here's a catch 22 with leptin. Okay, since it's produced in the fat cell, if we have just enough fat on our body, what's gonna tell the brain sometimes is that I am full, let's burn the, let's increase the metabolism and let's pull some of this fat for energy. On the flip side, if there's low levels of leptin circulating in, in, in the bloodstream, it's going to signal to the brain, hey, I am hungry, let's eat food. Now, the key thing is, leptin works in tandem with insulin. So the more you eat, you're going to increase not only the, insulin, uh, the blood sugar levels, but also too, you'll increase the leptin levels, again, to tell the brain, I am full. It's also part of our reward system. So this is how, why we get such pleasure in eating. Okay, the problem is when we take in too much fat or too much carbohydrates in the form of sugar, okay, it's going to increase your fats. Now what happens when you increase your fats, you're gonna increase the leptin circulating in the bloodstream to the brain. And the problem is just like insulin, we get what's called leptin resistant. Now if you have too much leptin in your system, the cells get resistant to it and what happens, much like insulin, okay, this is where the brain doesn't know that's, that's full. So this is why you're hungry all the time. So basically, again, follow this again. So the more fat that you have in your body, you're secreting more leptin in your system. You're becoming leptin resistant. And this is why you are hungry all the time. You can never get full, okay? Because again, it works in conjunction with insulin. And when you take in too much carbs, again, you're taking in too much leptin. So what's the goal? The goal, first and foremost, follow the insulin rule, okay? The main goal is to decrease the triglycerides, the fat, okay? Because what you're gonna do, you wanna stabilize the leptin levels. Number two, decrease the carbohydrates. Now again, carbohydrates in the form of sugar, okay? Because insulin works in tandem with leptin. Oftentimes, you're in a state of inflammation because you have too much insulin in your body. Now, the main thing is you want to lower the insulin resistant levels, okay? You want to spike the growth hormone levels. You want your body to actually utilize those, those calories for fuel. And this is where intense exercise is key. I'm talking about intense exercise, workout with type of weight resistance, or just start off with walking, okay? You want to walk, you know, you want to walk Crawl before you walk, walk before you run. Just do something because what's going to, what you're gonna do, you're gonna decrease the insulin resistance and you're gonna start burning more fat for fuel. It's gonna stabilize the leptin levels. Also too, you want a good quality sleep. Six to eight hours is key, okay? Next, you wanna eat quality protein with every meal because the main thing is you wanna decrease your carbohydrates, okay? So you want to increase your protein because protein does not release insulin. Okay, and this is how you're gonna stabilize the leptin levels as well. Daily vegetables. Vegetables are loaded with antioxidants, they're loaded with, ve uh, with vitamins. Also too, ve daily vegetables, you want about seven to eight cups of vegetables a day. What that's going to do, that's gonna satisfy your fullness while you're decreasing your carbohydrates. Okay, now the key thing is, this is why I always tell people, this is how you actually use skyrocket your metabolism, okay? You want to have one cheat meal per week. Now, one cheat meal per week doesn't mean going to, again, this huge deep dish pizza. One cheat meal per week, I always recommend do it at breakfast time. Wake up on either a Saturday or a Sunday. This is what I used to do back in the days when I used to compete. Sunday morning, I would go to McDonald's and have just one cheat meal. Why? What you want to do, you want to have still low fat, but high carbohydrates, but not in the form of sugar. You want something like a sweet potato. What that's going to do, it, because if you starve your body, you're actually gonna put your, your body in almost a starvation mode, okay? So when you have one cheat meal, it throws the body off. You're going to basically hit the reset button 
And also, this is what's going to happen. You're going to increase your, your metabolism. Okay, so leptin, very important. Stabilize the levels to start burning fat for fuel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, this is Dr. Juad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.